This week's only episode of The Legend of Korra is called Beyond the Wilds, and the episode opens with Napoleon Dynamite Bender's tour group getting snatched up by spirit vines. No joke, Ryu is actually voiced by John Heater. The vines are going nuts because of Kovira's tampering with the swamp tree in her quest to build the perfect spirit-powered super weapon. Korra wants to mobilize a rescue for the people, but she quickly finds out that the powers that be have kind of lost faith in her after her defeat at the hands of Kovira. The big meeting scene was pretty interesting, too, as for the first time ever in the series, Fire Lord Azumi actually got to say something, mainly about how she didn't want the Fire Nation to get involved with the war effort. This episode also saw Bolin's return, and honestly it felt much more like an actual reunion than the episode called Reunion. Bolin began the next phase of his character development here as well, mainly attempting to win Opal back. Gotta say, a lot of good work has been done with Bolin this season, and his final choice at the end I felt was a real definitive moment for him. To save all the captured people, Korra must head into the Spirit Wilds, only she can't because even after relearning to walk and getting rid of all the metal poison, she's still far too scarred. Wow, Korra really is being defined by all her post-dramatic stresses this season, isn't she? To combat all this fear, she decides to go meet with Zaheer, which uh, ends up being a really awesome scene because once again the great Henry Rollins gets to come back to the show, and in a surprise twist he's kinda seen the error of his ways, mainly that in fighting corrupt leaders he ended up making the most corrupt leader of all time. He also seems to be begrudgingly respectful towards Korra and even assists her in getting back to the spirit world. It's nice that unlike Amon or Unalox, the here just didn't kinda get thrown away or swept under the rug, so he's still allowed to develop all these seasons later. I know I don't talk very much about music in these reviews, but I really adore the piece that played during a Korra's energy bending scene. After last week's love it or hate it clip show, Beyond the Wilds gets things back on track. It's an episode with some solid action, some enjoyable comedy, and a nice through line for Bo Lin, as well as a great comeback for Zaheer. I give this one an 8.5 out of 10.